guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing some viral makeup hacks. I want to show you guys how they work on the face and go a little bit more in depth about them because I feel like it's really quick pace when we see them on TikTok or Instagram Reels. But today I'm going to be sitting down on my YouTube channel and show you guys how they look in detail put to the test. So keep so watching. The first one we're gonna start off with is foundation. So I recently saw a foundation hack on TikTok using the face roller to apply our foundation. So yes, we're not using a beauty sponge, a brush, we're using our face roller. I will list down below in the description box the names of the gorgeous creators who started these really cool trends. And I am also gonna have it up here just in case I need to reference back. So the first one is from Avana Sunshine over on TikTok. I'll include her TikTok handle down below so you guys can check it out. So basically what we're gonna be doing with this technique is we're just gonna be taking any foundation, tinted moisturizer, whatever it may be, and applying it onto our face and then using the face roller to apply it instead of a sponge or a brush. So I saw that with this trend, because I already tried it out on my TikTok, but what worked best for this was using a lightweight product, not using too much, but also not using too little. If you use too much, it's definitely gonna look like a lot of product on the face. If you use too little, I feel like it really won't be noticeable. So you wanna just use enough product. I like to use the L'Oreal Tinted Serum just because it's a really nice moisturizing consistency. So, ooh, this is getting messy. I'm gonna just be taking my face roller and we're just gonna be rolling this and applying it on. It actually does a pretty good job of applying the makeup all over the face. It like melts it in. It doesn't look thick or heavy. Like it actually does a really good job of applying it. And also I like the fact that it massages the skin. So like, let's say you're doing this in the morning. Like it just feels so good. Just preps the skin perfectly for the day it gives you a really smooth finish so this actually makes sense because you guys know that applying foundation is kind of like painting your face look at that like it looks really good it covered everything you need to cover didn't take away the product and you guys can see we do have product here and it's also so easy to clean some areas i will say it's a little bit harder just because it is a wide roller but that's where this little side comes in so i'm gonna put that to the side and now we're gonna move on to the next trend that i'm sure a lot of you guys have probably seen and perhaps have tried and that is the eyeglasses concealer trend so we're gonna be applying the concealer in shape of eyeglasses and the ones who i saw on tiktok start this trend are tarte cosmetics i'm gonna be using my milani conceal and perfect concealer and I'm just going to be applying this in shape of eyeglasses. So the trick is to apply it above your eye. So kind of like as an eyeshadow base and then you apply some here and you kind of go around and then you also go on the nose. You do apply a lot of product as you guys can see and then you go like that. So I have used this a couple of times. I really do like this trend. And the reason being, and the times that I like to use this is definitely when I'm doing a full glam, full coverage moment. If I'm doing something that I want super minimum, then probably not, unless maybe I'm not wearing foundation and it's just like this, then maybe, cause this does give you full coverage results. But I will say that this works great if you are trying to cover all these areas at once. And you guys can see it gives you that nice lift right here, like so. Definitely if you're somebody that likes very natural makeup, this probably won't be the trend for you. Um, but just if you're somebody that does like to do full glam, likes to prep their eyelids for eyeshadow, and you like a nice coverage concealer and you wanna give yourself that lift, this is definitely a great trick because it will cover all these areas and make everything look really nice and full coverage and then i'm also going to take the conceal that we put on the nose i actually like the fact that it went on the nose too because like i said i do have a lot of redness on my nose because of my rosacea so for me 
my nose area is one that I definitely want some of the most coverage to be on. So I'm just taking a small brush and I'm blending not only the concealer on the nose upwards, but I'm also gonna begin blending the concealer on the lids. So the concealer on the lids, like I said, is serving as your eyeshadow base. And this will allow all the eyeshadow on top of your lids to sit really nicely and last all day long. I know some people like to use eyeshadow primers for their eyelids and that's completely fine to each their own, but I love using just the concealer that I have at home. Not only does it give you the same results, but I feel like it gives you really good lasting power. And also you save yourself money buying a eyeshadow primer. I will say one tip I will give if you do this technique, be light with the conceal that you apply on your eyelids. Just because if you go in with a lot, it can definitely look very heavy. Like I went in with a little bit less on this side than over on here. The very first time I tried this, I went in with so much on the eyelids that you could tell I had so much concealer on the eyelids. So I like to go lightweight on the eyelids. I have it look too heavy just because I want this all to really blend effortlessly. So I wanna hear your thoughts on these trends. What are you thinking? Okay, so now we're gonna be doing the next technique which is on the eyes and it's eyeshadow. So we're going to be taking a palette, whatever palette you wanna take, and we are going to be applying each shadow vertical. So we're just gonna be doing lines of it and then we're gonna just be blending it all together. So the video that I saw this from is this one right here from Rashna. She is this gorgeous creator and she's just literally applying the eyeshadow vertically and then she just blends it all out and it literally looks stunning. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to look once I finish it, but we shall see. I think I'm gonna follow along those colors just so that we can kind of see. How it looks so i'm just going to be starting over on this side and we're going to be going in with the jacqueline hill morphe divine neutrals palette so i'm going to be taking cinnamon roll like that i'm curious to see how this is gonna look i've never tried this one this is my first time seeing this one because I was like, I want to try something on the eyelids. So I'm like, let's put it to the test. Lastly, I'm going to go in with a pretty shimmer just because I want to see how we're going to make this look stand out. Okay, let's blend. I'm like, is this going to work? Because I need to know the T. Okay, I'm low key impressed with this technique. I think it's pretty cool. We were able to get all the colors and that's actually a really good color combo that we went in with. Super, super impressed with this. Real quick, if you guys saw my black little straps from my shirt, I apologize. I just cut them. I didn't notice they were noticeable. Um, this is my first time wearing the shirt, which is why I have that issue. But yeah, let's, let's continue. Okay, I have to say this eyeshadow technique is probably my favorite thing I've done thus far. Out of the three techniques we've done, it literally gives you like the prettiest, almost smoky eye effect without having to do all the work that we're typically used to, you know? I feel like this is just so easy and quick. Just requires two brushes, a palette, and you're good to go. So this is definitely one that I am really liking. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the next little hack. Finish off some details that I didn't have hacks for. Um, and now we're gonna move on to the next one, which is a more recent one that I have seen. That one is the one highlighting the high points of the face with the Jumbo NYX pencil. Now, this one originated from Ellie Zeller. Ellie Zeller, I think that's her name on TikTok. Um, and she just did a brief TikTok showing where she applied the NYX Jumbo Pencil. And then I went ahead and also did my take on it over on TikTok, the Mexican Beauty. And I just applied the color that I felt matched me better. So she used the shade Milk. 
I used the shade Cottage Cheese, which I know the name has been very controversial. We're like, ew, that's disgusting. But this color is so great. And I like it because this one has a little bit of shimmer in there. So it's not just a white pencil. Down the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose. You take some on your brow bone highlight. If you're feeling a little extra, you can take some on your inner tear duct and just kind of have that pop a little bit. These are so pigmented. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our finger and kind of blend that out a little bit down the bridge of the nose. And as you blend it out, it'll give you a really nice soft effect. It won't look too dramatic. And even if you didn't wanna go in with any type of nose contour, I'm just taking the color up here and blending it with my ring finger until it's all blended out nicely. You guys see that? It gives a really pretty glow. Like, look how gorgeous that looks. And it has a little bit of shimmer in there, which I like. So it's not completely just like matte and flat. I take this type of highlighting, like just very subtle in certain areas over like a lot of highlighter on the um, like cheekbones. I really like this trend. I think it's one of my favorites. Um, as well because it really does kind of give you that really good little highlight on the nose. Now we're gonna do the last tack and that is the lips. So we're gonna line the top lip and we're just following our natural lip and then we're just going to be overlining the center of the Cupid's bow. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom of the lip and we're just gonna overline this center heart. And then instead of dragging the lip liner down here, you want to lift. I actually like this a lot more just because I know that like I can already see my lip lifted and we're not overlining too much. We're literally just overlining the center of the top and the center of the bottom. And now that we have this, I'm going to go ahead and take my lipstick in the shade Aaron and we're just applying it on the center of the lips. And you guys can definitely see how it just gives you a lift. I feel like naturally I have a very defined cupid's bow already. So I, I feel like if anything, it just kind of enhances it. And I do like the fact that you're not overlining everywhere else, which makes complete sense because I do feel like whenever I overline all of it, it can tend to like drag my lips down as opposed to just overlining certain areas. So I would definitely recommend checking out his lipsticks and lip liners because they are so good. Now's the time because of the Sephora sale. You guys know the trick so i have one more hack and this is the makeup setting spray hack so this one i found on tiktok through kevin kodra who is a makeup artist absolutely phenomenal work so basically what he's saying is instead of applying your setting spray directly onto your face apply it with a clean sponge and then press it on your skin. I'm gonna be taking the Sephora Makeup Setting Spray. I mentioned this in my Sephora recommendations video. This is their 16 hour wear setting spray. And I'm just gonna be taking this Real Technique sponge and you're just gonna to wanna to spray the sponge all over. So basically what this is gonna do is not only give your makeup that lasting power, but also make it look more skin-like in case you may feel like it looks dry, or it looks cakey, or maybe like you're wearing too much makeup, it takes away any of that like cakiness feel or look to it. Okay, so that pretty much completes this look using some of the most viral makeup hacks. And I will also have the products that I used on my face. Now I wanna know what your favorite makeup hack that I did today was. I love interacting with you guys and hearing your thoughts. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you would like to see more videos doing viral makeup hacks in the future because I definitely would be down for this. So let me know down below. And I think that's all I have for you guys. So don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. Have a fabulous day. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.